All tonight. After the silent apocalypse, a new natural resource emerged as our last hope of survival. As we all teetered on the brink of extinction, mining Altonite became our lifeblood. By building cities over rich deposits of Altonite, we somehow managed to carve an existence for ourselves. There was hope, only a strand, but at least we had something to believe in. But even hope was soon to be cruelly snatched away from our feeble grasp by those colossal beasts that rose to prominence over the years. The Protonovus, gargantuan life forms we dubbed simply as the enemy, began attacking our cities as if they wanted to wrest Altonite from mankind's grasp. That was 50 years ago. Thanks to the monumental efforts and sacrifices of our forefathers, today we at last have cities with the firepower and defenses to keep our enemy at bay. But to ensure our continued survival, to remain one step ahead of the enemy and protect our growing populations, the task of bolstering our cities remains never-ending. And let us not forget, we must also prepare for the inevitable onset of the second apocalypse, Altered States. Congratulations on your appointment, Commander! Oh, right. I'm your Deputy Toa. Pleased to meet you, sir. I have a feeling you weren't told much about what you would be doing here. Okay, that's what I thought. The Allied Command, well, the Admiral anyway, can be pretty disorganized. It can make life difficult sometimes. I keep telling him he needs to plan things out better, but nope. Never listens to little old me. Your mission here in Kimberly is to develop the city's defenses and turn it into a safe haven for its residents. We need to build a city that can thwart any enemies that come to our gates and keep our residents' minds at ease. Oh, and on a side note, would you introduce any eligible men to me if you happen to know any? Not that you have to, it's just, um, you know, with the hours here, it's really tough to meet anybody new. So bad that my only companions are my books. Kind of sad, huh? Yo! Got it. Commander! Let me think. Ha <laughs> ha! 
That's right. Let's see now. So the first thing to cover is unit construction. It's the most fundamental part of city development and defense. We of course need weapons units to take on the enemy, but people can't live here unless we also have residential units. Now, the towering building at the heart of the city is the command center. You will have noticed the crane, I presume. That's the crane used to construct new units after you've singled out a vacant plot of land. That's certainly the most important of our duties. You can check details about the enemies around each city on the world map. Enemy types are automatically detected, so you can decide which sort of enemy you think we should tackle. That will lure the enemy in. But under your expert guidance commander, we'll take out whatever dares to come our way. As soon as the enemy comes within range of our weapons, they'll attack automatically. But, of course, enemies can come from all sides, so we have to rotate the city's zone so the units are pointing in the right direction. That's where you come in, Commander. Oh, if the command center at the heart of the city gets taken out, it's all over. So we do have to be careful. Was that too much information for one session? I'm not sure if I managed to explain everything clearly, but it's completely okay if you decide to just leave with your gut. There's nothing wrong with that. So, how about we conduct a strike on some enemies? 